Look who joined me last night. Two little fairies. No, I'm just kidding. Last night I was getting ready to go to bed and relax because I had a long day of work and trying to keep on and get ready for this test that I have to have at the hospital tomorrow. It's going to take three hours. I'm getting a colonoscopy and I can't have no food today so it's all liquid diet. Um, if you guys pray, some people do. If you pray, can you please pray for me? Um, I had a blood test that came back and there's no protein going to either my liver or my thyroid. And um, they want me to have that redone really soon. And now I have to have the colonoscopy and I have liver cancer. So, yeah. So I'm at home and... Um, I was lay laying there, I was cold, and I had the wood stove going, and I had my warm pajamas on. And, um, knowing I can't have anything to eat or drink after midnight, I got up and got a bowl of cereal so I could have the milk and cereal in me before I went to bed. But I made these little dolls. I have a swap coming up. It's a Christmas swap in the 1st of December, and, um, you have to decorate a matchbox. So, me with my bright idea... I'm not a crafty person at all. If you know me, you you would really know. I'm an outside person. I like to prep and get ready for what's going to happen. I like the woods. I like to hike, fish, camp. I'm outside person. Or I like to cook a nice meal. So, on my swap, it said to decorate a matchbox. It had to be the big matchbox. So, me and my bright ideas said to myself, well, I want to be out of the box. I want something different. And I've been watching these things on fairies lately, and I said, I'm going to make a fairy box. So I started decorating the inside of the box with this brown paper to make it look like rocks. And I started collecting some of the stones that I have that are polished so I could put them in. You're supposed to decorate the box and fill the box and send it out the 1st of um, December. Well, I don't want it to be Christmassy. Because if you knew me, I'm not really into the Christmas stuff. I'm into the fact that God was born and um, love to exchange gifts. But as far as the tree, Santa Claus and all that stuff, I'm not into that sort of thing. So I wanted to do something fairy. So I made these out of pipe cleaners. This woman sent me pipe cleaners and a whole mess of... Um, lace and stuff so I took the pipe clean as I watched a video on YouTube this is not my original and um, I also took a leaf and I learned that I can collage a leaf so I wanted to make that as a bed for one of these dolls so I made the first one that's sitting down and right now I just got her hair just set on top of her head as you can tell it moved and it came off so she's got long hair and I haven't attached it or braided it or anything with it. So yesterday I went out and I found this round thing. I was just looking for just a round wooden bead. I didn't know they had faces on them. So I just needed a bead for the top of the head. I used two pipe cleaners. Um, I made the arms and the legs from just measuring and, and making the pipe cleaner go the way I wanted to and then the legs formed. And I put the hair on it. There's a video on YouTube how to make an angel doll. So these little skirt is from one flower from the doll store. Took it apart. And there's four little leaves on there. I used embroidery thread to make the color of her arms and her legs. And her little bodysuit. See, she's got a little bodysuit. And that's how I made her. Well, I wanted wings. And the wings that I saw I didn't quite like. So I just took a, another pipe cleaner on this one and I formed the wings. I'm going to try to move her. I formed the wings like that and then I used tule and I put the tule around and right where it, it hits her, there's a daub, daub of glue inside on the other side of this. So then I took the tule and I tied it on her waist as you can see right there. It's tied on, so now she's got a set of wings. So, I was going to send this one. I'm still not sure which one I'm going to send. I haven't worked on their hair yet. But, um, so, I just wanted to show you 
that I am creative. I didn't know how creative I really am. So, yeah. I hope you like my little angel dolls. I'll probably do a video down the road on how to make these. But um, I'm out of sorts today. I have to go run errands. I have to send a swap for um, a junk journal for Halloween out. And if you guys looked at um, one of my videos, it's a Halloween junk journal. I just wrapped that up and sent some extras for crafting so she could enjoy them. In my last swap, I sent um, a pocket letter and I sent one of my handmade towel sets that I make. And I'll eventually show you how I do them. I saw them in New Hampshire when I was hiking and they wanted like $8. I grabbed two, like a pot holder and a tea towel at the dollar store for $2 and made mine. So anyways, her hair fell down. As I was talking to you, her hair just went boop. So anyways, I hope you guys like these. Let me know what you think. And thank you for joining me. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.